when I heard about Misfits, I heard about this film is going to be a money heist film and where you're gonna you're going to get uh, people who are stealing money from you know uh, rich people and then give it back to poor people I mean this kind of story is quite um, what can I say uh, you know very very uh, cliche and common nowadays so uh, seeing a money heist film or a, f a film where you see uh, they are stealing money from a place where you know a lot of securities, a lot of uh, hard uh, step to overcome uh, all those stuff. It's very very common nowadays. So making this interesting is going to be a very very hard part. How interesting is that? I have no idea. I, all I know is Pierce Brosnan is here. Uh, you know the guy who was once a James Bond and. Yeah, that's all I know about uh, this film, you know, not a very uh, diverse cast, I, I think. So, making this specific film a, an interesting money heist film is going to be challenging. So I have no idea what they had done, or maybe this is going to be all those kind of films where you see this kind of, um, you know, normal stuff, the no uh, twist, no new things, no you know interesting or exciting stuff so let's watch the trailer let's talk about this a little bit more after we watch the trailer because let's talk about it a little bit more after we watch the trailer and let's try to understand what the story is about if it's something new or if it's something very very common or you know something already we've seen before this is Abhi React welcome back to my channel National police? Are you high? Catch me if you can. The first thing about this trailer is that they have. Oh, this is a very bad trailer. The reveals like uh, the beginning of and the uh, a very big chunk of their operation to steal this gold. 
Second thing that I noticed is that it looks like a film that actually, uh, you know, trying to be Fast and Furious. I don't know why, but that's what I felt. Uh, what Fast and Furious left behind, they caught it up and then they brought it up on, in their own film. Yeah, because you see this, uh, there's team um, who's uh, not just uh, people who steal things, they are highly trained uh, fighters, they know how to deal with explosive. There are car chase where you use uh, you know, one of those, uh, you know, things that makes your car, your car fast. So, all those stuff we've already seen in Fast and Furious franchise, but it was in the beginning of the Fast and Furious franchise, and they left all those stuff out now. They are now, you know, in, uh, Fast and Furious is all about superhuman strength, superhuman fight skills, uh, incredible stunts and all those stuff. It's not about cars and money and uh, you know money heist or purchase on not any anymore. This is straight up um, you know uh, gravity uh, and physics uh, defying stuff that they do. So the realistic stuff that they actually left behind. Those things caught up by this misfit franchise, and they actually bring bringing this up. And I don't know if it's a good thing or it's a bad thing. Uh, that's what I thought about this trailer because that's when I, the moment I saw that uh, car who, where he pushed this button and the uh, car gets faster. I, that moment hit me like, okay, this is totally Fast and Furious ripoff. The third thing is that the uh, misconception of a film um, where you see that they are stealing gold from Middle East because that gold is finan financing terrorism and I think it's totally not right in some way because uh, in Middle East uh, the royal family is everything not even the government uh, uh, let me tell you the government uh, have no power over so uh, Saudi Arabia the royal family has and uh, even the prison where they actually uh, captivate the royal family members those prisons are more than a five-star uh, hotel you know and if they're storing those gold bars or those wealth that they probably belong to the royal family and uh, I don't think they are mostly because they want to finance terrorism it's because they're freaking rich and they are they have so much money they have no idea where to put those money so uh, they use all the stuff including prison I suppose so telling that you have uh, you are uh, stopping terrorism by stealing from the Middle Eastern is like a very very wrong perception uh, very very wrong point of view to f show to the audience um, it's like uh, the royal family is always terrorizing uh, the world you know I mean they're not as good that I'm trying to say here, but uh, conception like this are harmful. So I think people should not make films that actually target a small family or a small heritage or a nation or something, yeah. unless it's North Korea. And I'm sorry, so say that. Um, the trailer, as I said, very, very bad. It showed in almost everything interesting about this film. I don't know what more interesting is there. The cast looks very, in my mind, in my uh, own, uh, you know, in my 
Ona, is, I, it feels like a very, very uh, weak cast against uh, Pierce Brosnan. Some of the cast I know, but they're not well known as a very active or very trustworthy cast. So I have very, very big doubt for this project. I don't know what to say anymore because um, first it feels like a Fast and Furious franchise ripoff. Second, it feels like it has a very weak cast. Third, it feels like the trailer revealed a lot. So recovering from that is going to be challenging. So I'm hoping they actually do pull uh, pull it off and they prove that this is not the case and none of the above. That uh, none of the things that I actually mentioned. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching this video. I uh, I'll be seeing you in the next video as well. Until then. I'll take the leave. Bye.